there's no doubt in my mind he never got the accolades he deserved, Holmes DG. Mm. Uh, he was in an era, a wonderful era of harness racing, where the pin-up was, of course, Christian Cullen, but remarkably, uh, the three-year-old season, which is, well, arguably the, the, the most uh, important, certainly from a stallion point of view, and it was with Christian Cullen, yep. your bloke won four derbies. Yeah, he did, yeah. yeah he Couple did. in Australia. Yeah, New, South, in New Wales, South Wales. Yep. Yep. And um, the Great Northern and the New Zealand Derby, and uh, big Christian Cullen in the Great Northern Derby. Yeah, no, he... Um, he just had it all really, he was um, great gated and he could go from Addington to Harold Park, which in those days... You Quite a transition. To, yeah, yeah, well in those days of the free for all, uh, you had to be at Harold Park a week later, mm. seven days to get from Christchurch back to Auckland over there to race. Yep. Um, they all did it, Choken did it, Christopher Vance did it, so did he, but now there's a couple of, well it's even longer now, yeah. it? three weeks. But. Yeah, they, they were remarkable, those horses. Ready to pound, so is Holmes DG, just peeled off the markers. In behind them, London, as Indiana uh, Holmes on the outside, then Nikisha, another party's getting thrown on the inside. Holmes DG in the Great Northern Derby from Sweet Talking Man, another party out wider. Christian Cullen's coming home pretty well, but Holmes DG and Barry Purden have got the derby. Holmes DG beat London Pride third, Christian Cullen. Second five syndicate. They had some fun. What did he win? <laughs> Nearly $2 million. Yeah, yeah. But there's one race that got away, Barry. It was the 99 New Zealand Cup. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you're not, haven't got too many fond memories of it, but bugger me if another Holmes Hanover didn't get you in the yeah, last that's right, stride. Yeah. Todd um, Mitchell, home and O's. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, he, um, he probably had his chance to be fair that day. He, uh, well, you gave him every chance. Yeah, well, he stepped away remarkably well. Mm. This, this was the second time. Yep. Yes. He had a false start, yeah. and um, I couldn't believe my luck. No. And, um, yeah, look, he went great, but he just got caught on the line, and, yeah, just the way it was. You just have to be. turn the page in that situation. Well, yeah, well, I mean, is it no, a disappointment as a driver? Was oh, it, was it yeah, one look, race you, you know, uh, is it still the ultimate race? Well, it probably is the ultimate race. I wouldn't even say as a driver, as a trainer, it yeah. really is. Holmes DG, Bogan Fella, Kate's first, undercover lover waiting for a run. Next to it, Home and Hose, followed by all our fella coming wide, Agua Caliente. They're in the straight. It's Holmes DG getting to the 200 metres. Room for Kate's first to get through. Bogan Fella, Home and Hose, wider at Agua Caliente. Holmes DG in front. Holmes DG in the car. Home and Hose coming in. At Holmes DG, Home and Hose, Home and Hose, the outside of Holmes DG. It's a photo. Look, Greg, you don't realise how lucky you are when you've got those horses because they're so hard to get. Yeah. You know, people, well, I certainly don't take it for granted. You know, like Pembroke Benny, he's my best horse still and he's nine. Um, but you take all the foals that have bred and there's 15 starters go out there on Cup Day from a range of, what, four-year-olds to nine-year-olds. There's not many make it. So um, you just got to be cherished the moment, really. Mm. He was the next horse I wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> he's, well, he's been around forever and competed at the highest level, but most recently, of course, he got his Group 1, and yep. I know you took a lot of pleasure out of winning that free-for-all. Yeah, well, it was satisfying. I mean, there's a lot of few races he could have won. I mean, there's always someone unlucky in every race, obviously, but, um, you know, I even go back to the Inter-Dominion at Auckland, the mighty Quinn one. I'm not taking anything away from him. He's a champion, but, you know, he went huge that night, and even in the Auckland Cup, Two years ago, I mean, he rattled home without much luck. Um, so, yeah, there's a few races that he could have possibly won if things had gone a bit right, and they did go right for him uh, three for all day, so it was good. It was nice to get one with him. And suave Stewie Lombo leads by a head easy on the eye, really working the leader. Reined up three wide Caribbean blaster. Held up both Sleepy Trip and also fly like an eagle from Pembroke Benny. Third quarter, 27.5. Suave Stewie Lombo grabbed by easy on the eye. Run coming now for fly like an eagle, Pembroke Benny's out wide, easy on the eye, Pembroke Benny, Caribbean blaster still there, Pembroke Benny, the old boy, Barry Purden, new master, Pembroke Benny won it for Zach Butcher. Well I've always believed in the open class horses, you know, that's been my, uh, that's what I like training and um, you know whether I'm right or wrong, I mean the, the age group racing now has is, is, is really taken over, um, well it has for a good time. It's where part the money is. Yeah. yeah. Um, I still like the open class horses personally, but um, I thought, well, you know, if we're going to be up there, we've got to really go to the sale and, and you know, buy some young horses. That, and I think importantly, you're buying what you want to a certain degree. You're not going to get everything you want, but you're buying what you want. 
and then you can start on them and get them going and do it your way. And it's worked out well. Um, I thought if we're going to be anywhere on the top, we've got to do it. Three wide cheer, the lady from Oh Baby. It's twist and twirl, 29-6 the third quarter. Going after it was cheer, the lady. Oh Baby can come through. Cheer, the lady's gone to the lead from twist and twirl. Oh Baby's getting up the inside. It's cheer, the lady in front for Zach Butcher. And cheer, the lady won the Oaks. Who are winning the Oaks? being driven by young Zach Butcher, yep. who you've given a, a great opportunity here. Um, again, that was a special moment for you because I know what it meant to Zach, but I could see the, the, the glint in your eye too. You, you, you think a little bit about this boy, don't you? Yeah, I oh, know, he's a good young fella, Zach. You know, he really is. Um, and uh, he drives well. And uh, But, you know, it's a team effort too. Yeah. And um, there's plenty of other people here that are... I was going to talk to you about the too. staff over the years yeah. because Barry Purden is one individual, but if you've got... 25, 30 these days, up to 60 in the old days, and you, you, you've got to have significant staff oh. around you, and your partner, obviously, wife Katrina. She's, yep. she's been a, an enormous part of oh, this operation. Oh yeah, she has for sure. Yeah, she's up here all the time, and and um, and looks after the horses remarkably well. But uh, you know, I've been really fortunate, Greg. I mean, um, I've been a partnership with Scotty Feelin. He was great, Scott, and uh, and a good horseman, and Steve Telfer, and Chris Garlic, and Shane Eels, and. And right in the early days, Brent Mangus. Brent you and... developed a few. <laughs> but it's nice to see them do well too. Yeah. Because it's, a hard, it's a hard a, game. I reckon yeah. you could tell a few stories. <laughs> Maybe not a couple for this show, but yeah. No, with Crandell Getty, who was here, Crandell. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So no, it's uh, we've had a great team, and you've got to have you've got to surround yourself with good people, because it's important on the track training horses. They've got to be done right, and and you know you're the teacher, so you've got to teach them how to run and. And, um, and get up and go and get the gear right and all the rest of it, so you need good people. Third quarter, 29.7, leader Sky Major. Maxim getting through on the inside, Regulus can't go with them from Zachariah. Barry Purden's got another size winner. It's the Quinella, in fact. Maxim's gone past Sky Major, and Maxim and Zach Butcher won the size. Maxim by a half a length over Sky Major. You selected Sky Major and Maxim. Yep. The ultimate. Quinella in the size stakes final and then in the jewels. Um, that's a testimony to A, your eye, but B, how you prepared them. Um, yeah, you know, that's about as good as it gets, though. Probably isn't a bit it? of luck. A bit of luck <laughs> comes with it, but to do it with two horses. Um, yeah. I yeah. Know, I, well, uh, you know, you, you, as I say, you buy what you like. You're not always right, but um, you just like to think you're doing the right thing at the time. But yeah, we were fortunate. They were both two lovely horses and, and better off, I tell you, the other one I bought for the partnership. So they've done. Um, We've done pretty well there. Third quarter, 28.9, and the leader is All Black Stride. Maxim, he stays on the back of All Black Stride. They're three on Regulus. Sky Major winding up from Isaiah. It's All Black Stride in front. Little Maxim's getting up the better's delight passing lane, though. No, Maxim's gone to the lead. All Black Stride comes again. Sky Major drives at the pair. They hit it. Sky Major! Sky Major's rolled Maximus and All Black Stride. What a win!